We're here with David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter, and today we're doing a year-end recap of events in politics. How are you? I'm very good. Glad to be here. Another year gone by. Happy to be here to recap the year. All right, let's start with international news. Two big things. The big stories that we're looking at internationally have to be Ebola and also the uh, progression called ISIS, the progression of terrorists throughout the entire Middle East. And that is something that I think both stories, I think, are going to be uh, bleeding into 2015, if you will, because, uh, you know, the, and the entire international uh, area in uh, the Middle East has been upset because of ISIS. And this is a story that you're going to be seeing for a long time. Absolutely. How about top national stories? Top national stories, you have to, you know, what is amazing? Amazing to me, Jasmine, is that 50 years ago the Civil Rights Act was passed, and that was supposed to heal racial divides throughout the entire United States. But here we are in 2014, and because of overreactions by some police and overreactions by other people, we're still talking about race in this country, and that has been one of the top stories in this country. And that will also continue in 2015. The other story has to be the um, almost repudiation of President Obama's agenda by um, a, a Republican Senate. Right now, uh, the president in his last two years is going to have to deal with a Republican Senate and a Republican Congress, and we'll have to see how that's going to go. Wow. How about statewide? Statewide. How'd you like to be Tom Wolf? On <laughs> January 20th, Tom Wolf is going to have the best day of his life because he's going to be inaugurated governor. And January 21st, he's going to wake up and see how many problems he has in the state of Pennsylvania. Right. So I think that's going to be the top story in the state of Pennsylvania locally. And you want to talk about a local story? Sure, Unfortunately, the local story had to be the um, shooting of the state troopers at the barracks in the Poconos. Of course. That, of course, has become a national story, and that actually became a story statewide, too. So uh, locally, that's another uh, story that was a tragedy. But again, you know, the um, a capture of the uh, uh, alleged killer was also a, a, a pretty decent thing that happened in this year, too, because he went on the run, but he was caught. Of course. Absolutely. Now, you have a list of people that you want us to look out for in 2015. Right. 2015, nationally, you have to look out for Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She's on the Supreme Court. She is... Um, has been in ill health. If she retires, or God forbid, if she leaves the court involuntarily, you're going to see a big fight in the Supreme Court. The other two are Jeb Bush and Mitt Romney in the GOP presidential race. If Jeb Bush decides not to run, I predict that Mitt Romney will run for president on the GOP side. So, Lulak has something special lined up, a few things actually, for the new year. That's exciting. Well, we do a year end review. Okay. All right. And the year end review basically is we do one feature called Moving on. And that's all of the people who have died and it's a very comprehensive feature and we do that. The other thing we do is we do a recap of the top local national and international stories and statewide stories. The other thing we do is called Women We Love and basically what it is, it's a feature of all stories of, 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 of LULAC readers who have basically told us that they like a particular woman and they think that we should love that woman <gasps> as an award winner. And wow. I need to tell you yes. that Jasmine, in 2014, you were chosen as one of the LULAC political letter women we love. Really? And you're in very good company. And, and, and uh, what I want people to do is um, probably the um, Monday or Tuesday of next week, you are going to be seeing your name in the women that we love for the LULAC political letter. Wow. Isn't that incredible? That's amazing. Now, I don't want to name some of the other people, okay, but you are also on that list. So how do we find all this information, follow you, and everything? www.lulacpoliticalletterblogspot.com You are a Google busy man. LULAC. Yes, I am. Google LULAC. Google LULAC. That's what you need to do. Now, I always come out comment on your ties. It's a tradition I do. And today, very basic for you. Very basic, but you know what? I wore red socks to match the new uh, chairs on the set. <laughs> I love it. All right. Perfect. David Yonkai, thank you so much for being here on PA Live. We'll see you next time. Not a problem. Thank you.